Hey, good day. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. We've had a lot of rain here for the last week in central Ontario. In fact, over the last 24 to 48 hours, we've had about 25 to 30 millimeters of rain. It's been quite a downpour. But we got a little time to work outside. I've been working on the driveway all morning, and I'm about to do two things I've never done before. So if you've got a few minutes, grab a coffee and relax, and come on up the driveway with me. Cheers. Partway through the driveway, for those of you that subscribe to the channel, you probably know what the big hill is. This behind me is the big hill. And as you know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, when I'm snow blowing or going through the driveway, it's a long driveway, it undulates, lots of hills up and down, but this is the big hill. This hill here starts to gradually ascend, and then it ends up into about a 45 or 47 degree slope all the way up to the top. Pretty difficult to snow blow, and I'm having a feeling it's going to be a pretty difficult to use the box blade to grade out all the rain ruts that we've got in this hill. But I'm going to give it a try. I was thinking this morning that probably in the last video I should have asked you folks for some advice because I know many of you have a lot more experience than I certainly do. But uh, at the end of the video, if there's some tips or advice or things that you want to share with me that might help me do it a little bit better next time, I always welcome those comments. But we're going to give it a try. Uh, I'm going to try going up and down it. I've got the box blade slightly tilted forward with the scarifiers down just in the first position. And I've also got the box slightly tilted a little bit to the right because I want to try to maintain the crown in the middle of the driveway. So one of two things. First thing, let's box blade and try to grade out these rain ruts. And then I'm going to take up the driveway and we're going to use the rear blade. First time ever. Cheers.
Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, definitely drag your box blade downhill, not uphill, and then push your dirt back uphill. That seems to work best, but it worked out really well. All the rain ruts are gone. It came out really nice and smooth for me, which is great because we've got a load of crusher stone coming next week, and we'll be able to just trickle it right on top of it and let it pack down before the winter. I'm going to take her back to the house. I'm going to swap out the box blade, put the rear blade on it, and then we're going to give that rear blade a try for the first time to try to see if we can sculpt the sides of the driveway to get the rain to run away from that one hill that we blew the rock on. Stick with me. Cheers. So if you're a subscriber to the channel, you know that about five, six, seven videos ago, I had a big rock shelf through the middle of this area right behind me, and there was a big crown on the middle of that shelf sticking right up out of the middle of the driveway. And the driveway kind of came along and then dropped, and that crown was sitting right in the middle. My neighbor Guy and I took some blasting caps and we blew the crown off of that rock shelf. And then I took the box blade on the tractor and I smoothed out and made a little more gentler slope to the driveway. And then as you can see since then I've thrown some crusher stone on it. Today what I want to do is I want to try the rear blade for the first time. Um, the last time I've used it was clearing snow and ice. And as you can see on both sides of the driveway, the sides are higher than the driveway itself, which I think helps to kind of direct rain into the driveway, which creates the rain ruts. So I'm going to try the rear blade. I've set it to the offside to the right side of the tractor. And I'm going to try to see if I can shave down the sides of the driveway and then possibly create a little bit of a ditch to help water run off of that area of the driveway. We'll see how it does after the spring thaw next year. If it does well, then I'm going to try it on a few other areas. So stick around. Let's fire up the tractor. Next time, remind me to buy something hydraulic. Let's give her another shot. I, I just angled it down so I can start digging a little bit of a trench.
Well, it looks like I've got a little more work to do. Uh, first time using the rear blade other than for snow. And it was pretty good overall. I, it was pretty easy. I was able to shave the shoulder of the driveway down to match the same level. But I honestly, I found it very challenging to try to angle the blade and dig my little ditch or my water runoff. So as you can see behind me, it's pretty flat because I, I kept coming through it and I couldn't quite get the ditch going. So I've left it flat, smoothed it out. I'm going to throw some more crusher stone on the driveway along this side. And then uh, hopefully one of you folks or some of you folks can perhaps give me a little bit of advice or some tips or ideas in the comments as to how I can maybe use that blade a little better to get the, the ditch done. Uh, other than that, it was a pretty good day. I got a lot of patchwork in the driveway done, a lot of new gravel laid down and a few other things done, a little bit of box blading. I didn't put that on the video because you folks have seen that before, but uh, really happy with the way the big hill turned out. And this wasn't bad, I just would have liked to have gotten that water ditch in and tried to get the runoff to work. But I'll figure that out, uh, hopefully with your help. Thanks for sticking around, I hope it was informative or entertaining at least. Um, if you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button, and if you want to know when I'm posting videos, just click the little bell. I really appreciate you sticking around, have a wonderful weekend, we'll see you again. Cheers.